Today, I believe it is May 7th, 2015, I'm Tim Meyer, here with some friends from Montana, and we're looking for evidence of the biblical site of Gemara. But it's rather interesting to be in a place like this. Some would say that these are the remnants of walls that were bombarded with balls of sulfur, also known as brimstone. Uh, and that it burrowed its way into the wall, basically turned it to ash. And then as the channel that it burned was sealed off, uh, it, the fire was starved of oxygen and burned its way out, or, or, or burned out with a hard shell forming around it. Again, those are the balls of brimstone that we're looking for. Uh, and again, it's very difficult to know and to say for sure whether this is, in fact, the ruins of that uh, inferno. So we're looking around, checking for evidence. Uh, some structures certainly could have been man-made, but it's just really hard to know. Okay, here we are at the place that some believe is one of the biblical cities, Sodom or Gomorrah. Uh, they think it's actually Gomorrah, one of the cities that was destroyed by fire and brimstone out of heaven as a result of God's judgment. Uh, I've been walking around for several hours today, uh, looking at this and that and the other thing, but uh, just recently I came to this area, which to me uh, really looks like city walls. There's several here that have uh, more or less 90 degree corners which seems rather interesting. And just as we go along here, they don't seem as eroded as many of the other uh, walls that I've seen today. There's not a big pile of uh, eroded things at the base. Here again, we seem to have uh, a 90 degree corner. Obviously there's been some erosion, but this, uh, seems to be, like it could certainly be the remains of a city wall with maybe some turrets or some towers sticking out here and there, but very interesting. You can see, of course, the swirling in the, in the rock, which would have been caused by the intense heat of the fire and brimstone that destroyed these places. Again, I'm no expert, so I don't know exactly what happened here. I do know that the walls here are made primarily of ash with some crystal uh, layers also. Many different layers, as you can see, stratification. And that some of it, you can break it off and it just crumbles very easily in your hands. So, it's a lot of it is ash. And where did that ash come from? Why does it have the appearance of city walls and other structures, some of them elevated a lot, and then uh, made of various layers of ash? And I've also found some interesting crystalline uh, forms today, which I've taken some pictures of, some of them. So, I don't know. Perhaps we'll never know if this was part of the city of Gomara, but it certainly would appear that there are some uh, very interesting shapes and seemingly some that are man-made. All right, we're still here at Gomara, and I just want to show you up close this, the layers here. There's ash, but then you can see, obviously there's different layers. There's, there seems to be some sort of crystalline layer in between. So that seems to give it some rigidity. So you can actually walk on top of this and whatever. But if you grab a handful, it breaks off. Well, I chunked in, but anyway, you can see how the ash just kind of smears, but it's also, um, rigid enough that it's a little harder to break off. Let's try this one here, since this is an overhang. There we go. So there we broke off a chunk, and you can just kind of see it. Um, 
and it's not at all difficult in your hand. Well, I shouldn't say that, it's, <laughs> it is a bit hard. But you can see, you can just break it apart. Um, those crystalline layers or whatever seem to make this particular piece a little difficult. Over here on the other side, let me try this one. Um, looks like we cut ourselves a little bit. Uh, over here, uh, let's try this one here. There we go. That just crumbles right, right to nothing very, very easily. So I guess it depends. Over here seems to be a bit more, um, have a bit more firmness in it. While over here, it's just, uh, yeah, pretty much powder. And you can just turn it to, turn it to powder very quickly. And now powder has gotten on my camera, on the lens, and on my clothes. So a very, very fine powder. It's like fine flour you'd use for baking. It seems to be pure ash.